We got our wedding bands. So this is Nick's. Isn't that pretty? And mine. So I got to try the wedding band on with a, a ring that was similar to my engagement ring. So it fit perfect. It was beautiful. I'm actually going to head out, do some grocery shopping, and get my engagement ring because it's ready. Da -dun -da -dun. I got my ring. Back. I'm so excited. I have tiny, tiny little fingers. Everybody, this girl is taken. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's that for stocking up? <laughs> How's that for stocking up? <laughs> All right. Got lots of grossies. Let's eat. Hot quail. We need a food. Is that yours? You gotta check it out, huh? Oh, you just smashed it, crew. Empty fridge, full fridge. <laughs> Made a tuna roll, sushi roll with the, the nori wrap. Use. Mm. Can you see that? Oh, my toe. First day back to the gym after vacation, I might have dropped a weighted plate. 45 pounds on my toe. And I did this, can you see that? And the machine that I was doing it on came back and hit me in the back of my ankle. Woo! Got my bras. Oh! <laughs> We're good. We're good. Now that I'm out of breath, whew. catch my breath. You think I didn't work out? I usually typically stick with this is Victoria's Secret. It's a zip up bra, it encloses in the middle, it's got an underwire. Get back up. And it's got adjustable straps in the back. I've had this one actually for a while. I got them in a bunch of colors like maroon, pink. Then I went to Victoria's Secret and they had like a sale and I bought these two just regular underwear bras and I'll wear that because I want to strap my boobies in. I don't want them flopping everywhere. I don't care if they're pushed up into my chin because especially if you've had your boobs done, <laughs> you've paid for these. You want to keep them where they were when you first bought them. Boobs are heavy. Boobs can be heavy, especially if they're a bigger size. I'm a 720cc high profile under the muscle. Uh, I do have a full YouTube video on my BA, so you guys can go watch that if you want to get the full story on the boobies. <laughs> and those of you who haven't had them done, wait from the boobies. You let them hang all the time. Eventually, them hanging going down, they're gonna stretch. The skin's gonna stretch. Your boobs are gonna go down. A gravity. I get a sports bra like this. A double bra the crap out of my coconuts. I want these girls to stay. Salute. Like most of my bras have come from Victoria's Secret, and then sports bras are really anywhere. I see a cute sports bra, I buy it, I wear it. Then I can do all my crazy moves that I do, <laughs> and they don't go anywhere. They're not flopping around. Wondering what my favorite leggings are. I love seamless. So anything seamless, high-waisted, I'm all about it. Doesn't matter what brand, I'm not specific to any brand. The Gymshark, I just wear a lot of Gymshark because I'm, they're seamless, they nailed it. Do you even is really good too. I'm really, and it just depends too on your budget, what you wanna spend, because some of those leggings are not cheap. They're anywhere between $60, $70. Um, but there's so many brands coming out with seamless leggings now. You just gotta try them and find what you like. Um, these are squat proof. These four boxes are all gym clothes. But these are all my leggings in here. I have a lot. I roll them actually to fit them in here. So I have all kinds of different colors. And look! <laughs> I get to use my dish. I feel like my hair is Amazon style today. I slept, I went to bed with it wet last night. Where's the band aid? So, this is going back here. I think we're good now. Bye. 
that. It's war tape. This is actually tape that I used to use when I do jujitsu whenever I'd mess up my toes. Get in there. This will just keep it stabilized. Well, that does feel better to walk on it. I'm gonna rest my ankle. Hey, do that. Do 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 that. Do 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 that. Such a beautiful view. It's a beautiful evening. So our walks are on the pavement. And since Keila's surgery like two years ago, she's she walks, but she doesn't quite walk like she used to. So she drags her back feet. And the last time we went on a walk, she ended up with some bloody feet. So we gotta cover up the back piles. <laughs> have this nice little walk around the neighborhood that we do. Look at my background. Look at this. Look how amazing. <gasps> this is why I walk around my neighborhood. But dogs gotta be on the leash in the neighborhood. And I walk them like this. Just made some dinner. You wanna see what it is? <gasps> you like my pants? <sighs> Stop judging me. Da -da -da -da. Oh, hey, it's pizza. Oh. That's what I made. Oh, it didn't smell good. <laughs> Here's my, it's a cauliflower cut crust pizza. Yeah, it didn't smell good. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah. It didn't smell good. It was worse than a fart. You said it smelled worse <laughs> than the fart. But it will taste good, I promise that. So I did a half for you, because I know you don't like tomatoes and mushrooms. <laughs> so that's your half, and that's my half. I'll eat your half. No. Yeah. <laughs> you. Me and a gram. No. Gram, dog. Ah! You like it? Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that's really good. You like it? Verdict is in. The fiance likes the cauliflower crust pizza. Not bad. Okay, low carb. I'll be a beast before you know it. <laughs> Yay! You like it. You can have the whole half. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> it's not exactly <laughs> like like pizza, but close enough. <laughs> Satisfies that pizza tooth. So mine was low carb, low fat. Babe's was low carb, moderate fat. Because he had the cheese on it. I didn't have cheese on my side. Hey, that's the cheese! <laughs> Got these pretty flowers. Gonna take out the dead uh, flowers out of these pots and transplant these ones into there. Mm. Aren't they pretty? I love them. Yellow is so happy. It makes me smile. It's like sunshine. But look at everything growing over here. Here. These are growing. Growing that bush. I had to trim these bushes down. And look at this growing. These bushes are blooming back there. So exciting. Love it. Hello, my loves. Happy, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> oh, I actually wanted to go over you guys, with you guys a little bit. Uh, wedding planning. What am I doing? How am I doing it? All right, so how did I get started? I Googled wedding apps, wedding planning apps, and I found this app that was called Wedding Wire. It gives you like a to-do list. So what it kind of looks like in the app, you have like your the wedding vendors, planning, inspiration, forums. So, you know, various different things where it literally just, it's so organized so it does help. You can 
check things off as you, as you do them. The bride and groom can like sync their apps together so anything you do your bride or your groom sees what you're doing too and you guys can stay in the loop on what each other's doing. So far we're at 140 guests. We're, we're estimating between 150 and 200 guests. Just one big party. Everybody comes to party. Like our venue I found through Wedding Wire. I have a form of OCD. I'm a perfectionist. Um, when I plan and organize things, I thrive off stuff like that. I'm like, woohoo! I'm diving in. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I love doing this. So yeah, so I've just been kind of like using the app to help kind of help me navigate and make sure that I am tackling everything that I need to because there's a lot of things that are still so unknown to me. When it comes to a wedding planner, I'm actually not going to hire one at all. I will probably have one for the day of the wedding, somebody to coordinate so I don't have to do anything and just keep everything running smoothly. So I feel pretty confident to doing it by myself all the way up through the wedding. I have you know a lot of my family, friends, people who are willing to help. We're gonna do some cake, cake tasting, testing, in the next week or so. One thing I've learned is every single person is very unique to how they approach something, how they plan, how they organize their perspective on something, how you process things. When I have a goal, it makes me happy. I am a goal, goal setter, I am a goal chaser. And when I don't have a goal and I'm not working towards something, I actually feel not very productive and it kind of brings me down a little bit. So I always like working towards something. I've always been that way. Planning a wedding and organizing a wedding is actually super exciting for me because it's like a new goal to work towards and it's something to work on. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be like little by little, you know, leading all the way up to November. It's just gonna be, it all start coming together. I still have my flowers out here that I have not put in their pots yet. I'm gonna go out there and do it now. Cause I have the green thumb. <laughs> my little tool tub. And the sun is coming out. I like that. So I'm glad I waited a little bit, but it's still a little chilly. It has all my little gardening tools and stuff in there. You're inside, oh my goodness. <laughs> Who's home? Baby's off work. Hi. Aww. <laughs> so excited. You caught me recording. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you look handsome. I love when he's all dirty. I'm doing the, the plants. Hi. Mm. Plants in the pot. Plants in the pot. Plants are already in a pot. We're going to put them in a new pot. <laughs> I cut twigs. <laughs> Are you poop? Keela! Pooping in my garden. Seriously? <laughs> Easy peasy. Everything's cut. Oh my god. I'm being so happy. Painting time! Just pulled out all my goodies. I got these little black canvas panels, so there's like three of them in here. And got my paintbrushes and my acrylic paints, my little goodie box. Just kind of building on my collection here. And my little easel. <laughs> I have an idea of what I want to paint. The three panels, it's going to kind of go together. So I like to paint. I like to have quiet time and it's kind of like stress reliever, meditate. It's like stimulating your brain instead of staring at a screen or a TV. Just like how reading stimulates your brain, it's good. Your eyes, it's good for your eyes. <laughs> Just to be creative. It's good for your heart and soul too. I like to have painting time. Nick is at the gym right now so it's a perfect time to take advantage of the quietness. But if he does come home and it gets noisy again, usually I just put headphones in. Um, but let's get creating. And I'll show you guys what I did when I'm done. But first, there is nothing more comfortable than showering, taking your makeup off, getting in comfy, baggy PJs, <laughs> hair out of your face before you start. Something like that. I feel really good right now. I feel very good. 
Here is the final product. So we've got mine and Nick's zodiac sign. So we have Pisces and we have Virgo and that is the constellation for each. We also have the March, so he's March 5th. So this is, he's in March, so his flower for March is Daffodil. Mine is Aster in September. And then we have the moon with some shrubbery. So I did kind of a little collage for me and Nick. Da -da -da -da.